good day to everybody uh, today in this session we'll be discussing relative reference and absolute reference okay let me change this capitalize okay so relative reference and absolute reference so let's discuss first relative reference now this cell address is I'm sure now you know everybody knows C7 let me put one mm, some of the figures let's say okay so this cell address is C7 now if you want if I want to have uh, this value to be shown in an in any other cell variable what can I do equals to C9 oh, C7 because we need to put that value so you can see this value is here this is called simple reference a referencing to another cell to have value in this cell so this is a very basic referencing okay now if I change the value here automatically this value is also changed here now we talk about relative reference a relative reference means that now if I copy okay, I will put a few digits here to have the sum of these two upper cells C6 comma C7 okay so this is our total any digit I'm just following the, as an example okay now if I want to have a total for these upper cells what I will do control C and enter so you can see now I have just copied this formula to this cell the difference is here you can see the formula is equals to some C667 okay and here equals to some E6 E7 so relative reference means once I copied the formula to any other cell what will happen the formula itself will change the cell addresses relative to the location so copy and paste here automatically instead of C because the formula is copied into E column so automatically C is replaced by E so E6 and E7 this is called relative reference I hope everybody understood this it's a very simple concept just copy and paste wherever you will copy for example now I will copy this formula and uh, paste it here so now you can see sum equals to m6 m7 because here it was c667 I copied and pasted the formula into m column so the references the cell the, the column name is changed replaced from c to m m6 f7 because relative to the location so this is very basic the relative to the location this is called a relative reference mm -hmm. now we'll talk about absolute reference absolute reference means that I want to have this formula the same as it is like equals to sum c667 in any other cell wherever I want to place so this should not change as per the column what I will do I will put dollar sign C dollar sign 6 dollar sign C dollar sign 7 okay presently the formula is not having any effect what I will do control C and I will paste it here so now you can see 
the cell references have not been changed relative to the location which we have seen in relative reference. So now we have discussed absolute reference. So to make it absolute, absolute means that the formula should not change due to its location. It should remain static. It should not change. So for that one, you need to keep dollar sign C, dollar 6, dollar sign C, dollar 7. Means the column should not get affected. The row should not get affected. Let's take another example. I will just paste it. Now I will make a certain change. Dollar C six, dollar C seven. I will move now this one here in record. So you can see C seven and C eight is coming. While here it was C six six seven. Don't get worried. What happened actually? Dollar C6, dollar C7 means row number. So when I copied and pasted formula here, because I have pasted in the next row, so automatically increment of one row is here C7 and C8. So if you want to put basically absolute reference for the column, absolute reference for the row. Now in this formula here which I have put this is absolute column but row can change. In this formula absolute column absolute row. So it will never change never ever change wherever you want to paste this formula. But if you change this formula to any other location not the column column will also change. Sorry row will change so we'll put in 16th row so you can see now it is C10 and C11 very simple here the row number 6 and 7 how much is, how many how many rows I have skipped 1 2 and 3 so which means that 6 plus 3 this was the sixth row 7, 8, 9 and 10. So which means that you can see this one. Oh, okay. This one. So how many rows I have added now? 4. So that's why here the formula is absolute C. Column is still same but the row number has been changed added by 4. So C6 which converts to C10. This one C7 converts to C11. Now, for example, if I will paste this formula, how many rows I have changed? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, if I will paste this formula after 6 rows here, usually 6, 3, and 3. Yeah, 6. Okay. So, you can see C6, this is the 7th row. So ultimately, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So now it has changed to C13 and C14. That's all for today for the relative and absolute references. If anybody has any question, you can write me an email or uh, just put the comments. So I will make sure that I will answer those queries. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.